Welcome back to another Photographer's Critique. This time we have Murasa Saez from NMB48 photo book. Now, when I first heard about this photo book, I was really excited. I mean, we all know her for being very fashionable and for being a model. So it was easy to see that when she was releasing a photo book, that it was going to be good. And today I will be looking at this photo book and be able to see what exactly goes on in this. Now, this is my first time doing it in this setup. So if there's a little bit of mess ups, please excuse that. I'm trying to work through the process of trying this new setup because I was getting bored of the old setup. So let's go ahead and find out together. Now let me start off with this cover right here. Now this cover right here, as you can see, is pretty suggestive. It's nothing too out of borders from what we've seen in other photo books in the past. But nonetheless, it does show her skills, especially with her face, to see exactly what she could pull off. And I think during this whole photo book, you can really see exactly how strong her poses are, not only in the way she shapes her body, but in the way she controls her face. If we take a look on the inside cover, we can see it's just black and white. I'm not too big of a fan of this. I prefer when it's a little bit more personalized, but I do know that does cost more. But for them to just put a black and white, I kind of feel like I'd rather it be blank. Even the back has a little bit more about the black and white, which again, I'm not a big fan of. Now, as you can see on the top, I've actually bookmarked these. So it's a little bit different than before where I would just go through the photo book and call out any photos I've seen. This time I've actually pre-selected the photos, so I'm not just going on rambling and cutting out everything in post. Now let's start off with this first shot. This first shot right here, I actually really enjoy. It's a nice introduction to the actual photo book. As you guys know, I always want the first one to be either the best one of the photo book, or I want it to be a good intro into it. And I think this one right here is a nice scenery one, kind of leading us to it. If you look right here, the railing is kind of leading us towards her, but also the brick walls on the side of her are kind of leading lines towards her, which I think really shows the strong suit of the photographer and already tells a great sign of a great photo book. And quickly mention, her legs look super long in this. That's thanks to a wide angle lens and it being kind of tilted like this a little bit, making the legs look a little bit longer. Next up, we have the shot over here. I don't know what the background is, but looking at it, you can tell the background is completely white, almost to the point where it's a little bit blown out. But again, here we can see the posing in the face. We can see the difference between the face that she's holding here and the face previously. Even though it's kind of similar, you can tell she has complete control and it's able to cause a different mood in her face. The posing is a little bit more gentle as well, kind of having the hand over here with the relaxed hand down, not as posy, a little bit more relaxed, and showing off the shoulder, again, being a little bit more fashionable. Though the photo on the left side, I'm not a big fan of how tilted it is. Um, it might work with her kind of like leaning forward and her leg up, but I'm not too big of a fan of it. And then we move on to some more swimsuit pictures and we can see that the power of her face, how she's able to manipulate just a little bit just to get that difference of emotion in there. Uh, the hands are a little bit too clawy for me, but it doesn't really bother me thanks to the other hand being a little bit more relaxed. And moving on to the picture on the left, it does kind of seem like out of nowhere, a little out of place because it's her crawling on the floor eating a strawberry. Just thinking about that outside of the photo shoot aspect is a little bit weird. So it kind of takes me out of it a little bit. But I mean, the lighting on her face is so good thanks to that huge window light on the left. And then next up we move on to another one of these. And this one is inside of a pool. And as you know, this one might get messed up a little bit depending on how you take the picture. But in this case, it actually helps out the picture. It helps elongate her body a little bit more, give her a little bit more shape. And the lighting on this is so good. As you can see, the lighting is coming all the way from the left. It does seem like there's some light source in her eyes. So there is some frontal lighting coming from over there. So kind of like having a little bit of light over here and then like having another light over here. So there's two light sources in this one, which really help complement her. This next series right here is kind of like that aspect. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I kind of wish it was just maybe this bottom left one. I think that one could have been good. Uh, the top left one is whatever to me. Also the top right one. The bottom right one does show a little bit more quirkiness of her, a little bit more personality, so I do enjoy that. But if I were to pick one overall, it'd be the bottom left one. Then we move on to her eating some more food. And with this one, I do like this angle 
of the left and the right, and I do think these are a little bit slightly different. I feel like this could have been taken inside of the same 30 seconds, to be honest. Like, this right one is taking the picture, and the photographer's like, let me scoot over a little bit lower, take an angle from over here, see how this looks. And I feel like these are the two angles that happen in 30 seconds. If we look at the drink, we can see that's very similar in where it's at. And then on the second one, it's kind of like, all right, you can go eat, but I'll take a snapshot over here. So not really my favorite one. They take it like just immediately right after. Like if there was maybe some progression in the scene that we see, maybe I would like it a little bit more. This one on the right, look at that hair light coming out from the fluorescent lights up there. So good. Uh, if you see right here, this is a hair light. So that's what's happening over here, really giving off, letting her pop off the background. You can see on the left a little bit, on the left side of her head, you see it kind of blends in with the background and on the right side it kind of sticks out. But then over here on the right image, you see it all right there. Then move on to some more maybe intimate pictures. Um, the one on the left is the one that I kind of want to call out and I feel like I'm really uncomfortable looking at this. I think it's because she's on this skinny ledge right here. And when I see it, I kind of like, I gotta, it puts me off a little bit. Yeah, with these type of images, I really want to see either a little more glamorous or a little bit more sultry or something. But the one on the left makes me feel a little bit more uncomfortable than it does. The one on the right is great because she's looking down at the camera, you know, a little bit more power in the position, kind of she's in control. But then the one on the left, it kind of seems like, all right, uh, try to balance on that and see if I can take a picture there. It doesn't scream the highest in this feel coming from the one on the right. So I'm not completely sure about this one. All right, now we move on to the alternate version, which is with white. And this one, I wanted to call it because this one does have the ledge, but in this case, she's kind of embracing the uncomfortableness right here on the right side with her hand kind of like squished up into the corner and kind of showing off a little bit more of that. And I think this one really complements it well. She's making a nice shape in her body, making that S curve. And even comparing it to the last one before, on that one, it's kind of like trying to make an S curve with the shoulder. But on this new one, we can see that it's a little bit more with the back, thanks to her turning. And then even with her legs being angled a little bit, I think it really complements well and kind of fits the mood a little bit. Not a big fan of the lighting, but you know, that's everyone's taste. Next, we move on to, I guess, I don't know what to call these type of series. There's always these type of series in photo books the morning after maybe because it usually happens after like a laundry set but yeah this is a little bit more casual a little bit more home y though on the right she's cutting what seem to be oranges or lemons or something but then on the left she's holding it up and then the lemons are cut a little bit continuity but you know they move on you know forget the lemons i don't know why she was cutting lemons but let's go on to the next one where we see this picture on the right where it's her kind of like fixing up but I do like this lighting, this very backlit light, along with some light coming up from the bed. If you can see on her nose, you see that there's a little bit of light coming down and a little bit of light coming from the background. So I think it's a really nice shaping light that really helps stick it off in the background and kind of make it seem more glowy. Next, we move on to this series of images. And I want to call out the picture on the left because I feel like it's a little bit... I don't know, I feel like nothing's really going on here. I feel like they had ideas here. But really, at the end of the day, it's just a pink wall and her staring over her shoulder. Nothing really exciting happening here. It kind of throws me off. Though the pictures on the right, I feel like, are a little bit better of a choice because they really show personality and have that wall in the background as well, while not being as plain as the one on the left. All right, next we move on to this arcade scene where it's a little bit more about having fun, you know, her smiling over here, kind of a fun feel to it. Or hey, we see all this blast of colors in the background on the left side. We see the blue on her hair over here. We see some green on her arms. We see the background just full of colors and her enjoying herself. I think this is a nice, nice picture. I won't say it's like, you know, one of those amazing pictures that, you know, I want to see and then want to put up on the wall or anything. This one's just a nice, in a photo book, kind of photo and I think for some photo books this is really needed because if it's all just fashion pictures or if it's all just very much like this style then I feel like it throws it off a little bit too much because then it's a difference between an Instagram picture and a photo book and a professional magazine shoot. I feel like there needs to be a little bit of a balance between them and show a little bit of personality like these do. And speaking of that personality, uh, these next ones, I'm not the biggest fan of it. This Dutch angle not really doing it for me. I kind of see where the lines are in the bricks, so that's kind of distracting me. 
And then this pose is a little bit, I don't know, I feel like I'd see it in like a 70s or 80s photo shoot. It's something that looks a little bit older. It's kind of like trying to do too many triangles at one time on purpose. And it makes it look a little bit cheesy because we can see the triangles in the legs and the arm right here and her covering up so then like it doesn't really show it. But again, there's no modern S curve there. It's really just shaped down and it isn't even model-esque like some high class model magazines that deal with fashion are where it's about the curve back. In this case, it does seem a little bit posy and she was told what to do here and this is the snapshot of it. Now on contrast, we have this picture right here, which I think might be one of the best photos in the photo book. Like just even ignoring the clothes, like the pose she has on her face, like the look she has, I think it just says like a million words. Even the difference between these two photos next to each other, you can see how much of a difference it makes. From her eyebrows to her lips, even the way she's squinting her eyes just a tad bit is making that huge of a difference. And not to mention curving the shoulder a little bit so then there's a little bit more of a curve to her. Showing that S curve along with stretching one leg out, bringing one leg in, having the arms right there kind of elongating, pointing towards the legs. If you look, it's kind of like one long line going down along with an S curve. I think this image is really good. I wish it was just a tad bit straighter. You know, you can kind of see that line in the background. I wish it was along that. But yeah, like the light coming in from the background over here with a little bit of fill in the front. So good. All right, next we have this indoor jacuzzi picture. This one right here, it's all about the shape. I guess it doesn't bother me too much that the divider is where it is because I feel like it kind of helps it in this case. Most of the time it breaks it, but in this case it helps it because it actually indents it a little bit more so it looks like there's more of an S-curve and that really complements the photos. So whoever was taking this picture had that in mind or maybe the editor afterwards was like, oh hey, let's just scooch it over just a little bit more. And I think it really helped it in this case. Again, very similar lighting to the previous one we've seen. In this case, it's a little bit farther away. So as you can see, it's a little bit harder of a light source and she isn't that separated from the background. So maybe if they added in just a little bit of a hair light there, then I think this picture would just be really good. All right, now let's move on to this series of images right here. And this one, you can really see exactly how well she does in posing. And looking at all these, all these expressions are different. Like the one on the left side kind of looks similar, but you can tell just that tad bit of difference in having the hand right here and the mouth movements really does make that big of a difference. And overall, this image looks great because of the lighting and plus the white bed and just the light wrapping all around her and causing there not to be too much of a harsh shadow. As you can see on the face, there's nowhere where there's really a lot of shadow. If you look right here, there's some shadow on this side and then over here it's more light, but you have some shadow right here. But then on her, you can see it's just wrapped around her so there's not a lot of shadow. And we move on to some more eating ones. I do like the lighting one on the left, but I feel like the one on the right, I do like the attitude a little bit more, but if I were to stick to one, I just wish it was the lighting on the left side and then the pose on the right side, because it's kind of like her doing the action over here, while the one on the left is kind of like, I'm taking a picture. I don't know, the one on the right just seems a little bit more natural to me. What do you guys think? All right, now moving on to this image right here, which I am mixed about because I do like the concept of it, but I don't know, something's throwing me off a little bit about it. I don't know if it's the greater depth of field where everything's in focus. It might be the color of the light in the background is mixing weirdly with the peach color in the background. I think that's what it is because the outline on her looks a little bit like the colors aren't the same, like they're shifted a little. I don't know, something's throwing me off about this, but I do enjoy the pose over here, very using part of the environment to your advantage keeping those triangles in there, but not, you know, purposefully like we've seen in the past. And having it a little bit more natural like this is really nice in her arms, in the leg, in the other leg, using the staircase to her advantage, you know, and this is, when, you know, curving the back. So you don't always need that in the picture. This one's a little bit more fashionable, kind of feels like. We move on to this image on the left and we get to see a little bit more of a fun vibe I feel like maybe she was laughing in this one. I feel like it feels a little bit more natural, kind of like she's laughing on the right one. Again, because it does seem a little bit posy, but I do like what she's doing with the pose itself. It's a bag of mixed emotions because I do wish it was a little bit more of a candid picture. 
Well, this one seems a little bit posed, but I'm not against the pose since she's so good at posing, she makes it look natural. Next we have this one. Um, the divider is in a weird spot where it doesn't really complement her too much. For me, the divider is not really at the perfect place. Yeah, nothing about this image screams like, wow, look at this image. This is the image you have to look at. Like, the lighting is a little bit flat if you look at it. Um, the reflection from the floor isn't really complementing her that well. This pink thing on the right, I could see us filling in the space, but for me it's a little bit of a distraction. Like I kind of wish that was just a way so it could just be this checkered floor. Because I feel like maybe they were going for this clean look, but that yellow lighting in the room doesn't really help towards it. Now we have this picture, and this picture is interesting because you have to actually, you know, turn the whole thing. And this is a pretty interesting concept to do because you don't see much photo books that make you turn the photo book yourself. But looking at this image, you do see that there is a little bit of that hair light coming in. It's either they added it afterwards or it's there, but for me, I enjoy it. So if it is afterwards, then you did that pretty well. The face isn't too distracting from it. It's kind of like focusing in on the clothes a little bit more, which in a photo book about her could be a problem. I kind of wish it was a little bit more centered around her than it is about what she's wearing in this case. Next is this close-up of her face. And this one's like a really nice, sharp one. You can tell there's a little bit of post sharpening in here. Uh, you could tell on the lips especially. But yeah, I enjoy, you know, the reflection in the eyes, you know, kind of showing where the light source is coming from. And you just really get to concentrate on exactly her facial posing. Throughout this whole photo book, you can see it's just great. And then right here we move on to a whole body version of it. And for this one, it really helps elongate her. There's a little bit of a Dutch angle, but for this one, it's a little bit better than it was previously. Though the black borders on this one do distract me a bit because now we see the white walls, in which case the birdcage is in. But yeah, looking at this, this is a nice, long, elongated one, just shooting straight up. There's a straight line towards her face. And then her doing a little bit of a triangle pose at the end to kind of help finish it off, which I think is really unique. But looking at this, I really enjoyed the lighting. It's a little bit kind of like clamshell lighting, if you think about it, very frontal lighting. So it's like if I had one light over here, and then I had a reflector right here, and then the face would be a little bit balanced. It's kind of like this, but except it's just shooting straight directional from one soft light source, which is pretty interesting to see. And I think it's really taken advantage of, thanks to this being a small opening into the birdcage. But one thing that really bothers me is kind of the Photoshop work that was done in here. You can tell some of the edges are a little bit rough. You can especially tell on the right one. There's some dodging and burning in here that's a little bit iffy, which is kind of noticeable to me and kind of distracting to be honest. And then we move on to the last picture, which is this right here, which is what she's wearing. And for this one, I mean, it's a nice one. It's kind of like, all right, we had fun. Time to see you and go. Usually for a lot of these photo books, we see like the sunset or them walking away. And for this one, it's kind of like, all right, we had our fun, now get out. <laughs> if you think about it that way, I mean, you kind of see that seeing from like the angle that the photo's taken, nothing too great about the posing, but it's very relaxed feel with the smile that feel like kind of sends you off. Now that does it for the photo book. Now, let me talk a little bit about the photo book in general, what I thought after looking at all those photos. Now, this photo book is actually, actually one of my favorites because you can really see how well what SSI is in posing and in expressions. These are two categories that she's really good at. And I think having her in a photo book is something that has been long awaited and this has really proven worth the wait. I think this is a photo book that is really well done. The photographer really knew what they were doing. Post-processing was iffy. A lot of the time it seems like there was a little bit too much added to it or it was a little bit distracting. But I think when SSI kind of saved it in that aspect because you kind of were in focus in her and kind of forgot a little bit about the surroundings, which is really interesting to see happen. Of course, when I was looking at it, I was distracted a little bit by the post-processing, maybe some of the clip of the hands, some of the Dutch angles, some lines that could have been easily straightened. But I think overall, it's a really strong photo book and definitely goes up there on my list. And if you have not picked this up, then I really recommend it for people who are fans of her, fans of NMB. I think someone who's a fan of an idle photo book or of a photo book in general could really appreciate this and look at it more than face value and see exactly how well of a combination this photographer and what SSI did 
to accomplish this photo book. Well, if you enjoyed this photo book critique, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Let me know your thoughts on this photo book and about this new setup because this is new. You know, I'm trying it out, seeing exactly how it goes. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see more of these videos, I have a whole playlist of photo book critiques. And if you want to see future ones, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone.